Hey folks, welcome back. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a little bit more of the mechanism that I made. If you've seen the floating router video, uh, probably wondering what was, uh, how I was making that bounce around like that. Well, now I'm going to show you. So if you've seen the video where I was doing the little test, that's the mechanism I'm going to use uh, because it's so easy to make. You know, it was very simple to make this box. And then all I had to do was make another box for inside of it. And then all I had to do was make another box for the inside of it. Now, I did put a little extension on this. And the reason being was, is when it was right to the top of the motion, there was a little wee bit of play like this. Not that it would matter because it was it was going right across the thing. But um, I just wanted to make it so that it was really rigid, even right at the top. And it actually gave me a little bit more travel. Now I've got about 9 inches of height and, uh, and about 12 inches of width is what my travel is on this thing so a real big range of motion it actually works way better than the than the lever system and the reason being is is now this thing is all centered so it's going to give me an equal motion either way whereas with my lever system it would give me more motion on one side of the machine than it would on the other but with this it's perfectly centered so everything is equal both ways so Right now, I've just got these springs just attached at the bottom of this box and uh, just run up to here. But eventually, what I'm going to do is drill a nice half-inch hole on a nice slant. And then that spring will just come into the hole and then I'll be able to just uh, put a screw to hold it. But for right now, I've just got this thing kind of tacked together just to see how it was going to work. And uh, and anyway, just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll adjust it when I, when I get a little bit more time to spend on it. So... Um, so very simple to make a box inside a box, but the difference, uh, one thing I would change if I was doing it again, as you can see, I've got my sides run this way and then this in between. I wish I had to cut this one the exact same width and then it would make it really, really simple to, uh, make them all perfectly even because all I'd have to do is set my saw for this width and cut two extra ones. And then I just have to put this piece in between because this doesn't really matter. This width right here doesn't really matter, but then what I could do is the pieces that went in between, I could cut two that were exactly the same for this inside box. And then there really wouldn't be too much measuring involved then. It would just be all, just preset the saw and just run it through. And then it, everything would be exact. And then it would make it a lot easier to make this nice and tight because that is the way that this works. It has to be perfectly tight on the sides because that's what gives it stability. Because by being perfectly tight, or being very tight it can't move this way so then it's going to be perfectly lined up no matter where I go it's always going to be in that flat position and the same thing it can't move this way so then it's going to be uh, everything will come out square to this box so um, so it's going to be a very simple uh, rig to set up the only thing we're going to have to be careful of is the position of these two bolts at the bottom that hold that that pivot goes on if these were at a whack then it would cause this to be at a whack a little bit but uh, pretty simple to drill a hole in uh, in the same spot on both sides of the box so now I'll just slide this out of here to show you so all this is is simply just a simple box you can see four sides and that just slides down made so it'll slide in between this box and then this box um, you can see where I added my extension on this was the original box right here um, and it just made the fit inside there but then like I said when it was right to the top of the motion there was a little bit of play so then I just added this extension on um, very simply just patched a piece on to the bottom in the inside and then just ran this up by and that made it a lot more stable and if I was to do it again that's what I do I just have this piece cut the same length as the outside box and then uh, and then all it is is just inside I had to put a little patch in there to bring it out even and then uh, just a bolt runs through for the pivot point so it's a real simple 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 setup it's going to be real easy to make there's not going to be much precision involved other than you're going to have to make sure you get your pieces cut the same width and then just going to be a matter of just screwing it together I didn't even use pocket holes on this I just used uh, just put a few nails to hold it and then just drilled and screwed it because the pocket holes do make it look a little bit messier this I'm going to try to make it look a little bit neater. so so now I just got to get it so that my router is mounted up on top of this thing and on a slide system get my little bunks on it and uh, and get a follow pin geared up on it so so hopefully you guys are having fun watching hopefully uh, you keep tuning in if you have any questions about this once I get this thing made 
then what I'll through, do then is go through and tell you the sizes of all these pieces because it's, uh, but in case I change anything, I don't really want to give you the size of this, the things there just yet, but it'll be real simple to, to be able to explain it to you then. So, uh, hopefully you guys are having fun watching. Hopefully you keep tuning in. And I thank you for watching this video.